And then uh, here's another one. David Sammartino. <laughs> now that would be a hell of a kind of a somebody to be compared with. The greatest of all time, especially in the Northeast, like Bruno Sammartino. He wasn't a great worker, but yet he was held in such high esteem by the fans. And I don't think they held him in such high esteem because uh, of his wrestling. I think he was just a good guy. They respected him uh, for a number of reasons. He didn't drink and he didn't, and he, he always had a positive message. And, but David, uh, he just, he just couldn't get there. And he wasn't anywhere the size of his dad. He weighed maybe 210, maybe, maybe a little more, not much. But he couldn't live up to his dad. Did you uh, Did you ever come across David in your travels? Yeah. I ran him. Where did I find him? Somewhere. Hmm. I watched him work, never wrestled him. But he was like stiff and... He looked lost, totally lost in the ring. And, of course, he, he could have been lost. And he, I remember in the dressing room, he, wasn't, he was friendly enough, but yet he just never picked up on what he needed to pick up on. See, I, I think some people are born to play a guitar and some people are born to wrestle. He wasn't born to do either one. <laughs> <laughs>